The impact of technology on the healthcare system and communication has increased exponentially. And this impact cannot be overemphasized because there are a lot of benefits associated with technology and the healthcare system. Good day everyone and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Mercy Mary, popularly known as the Nurse with the Difference, and I make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers. Today, I'm going to be sharing with nurses in particular the reasons why they need to have knowledge of computer and also how to use their phone effectively well to function and practice in a well-developed country. So I'm going to be sharing with us because technology is taking, taking a lot Technology is dominating these days, and if we must practice effectively as nurses in a developing country, in a developed country, and also in future in the underdeveloped country, we have to get used to the we have to get used to the use of computers and also phones. But before I go into details into this class, if you are new on our YouTube channel, please click on the subscribe button. Turn on the notification button so you don't miss out. For all my returning subscribers, this is me from the bottom of my heart. I am saying thank you. I think the drums should roll for your people. Alright, welcome back. Like I earlier said, today I'm gonna to be sharing with you why nurses need to get used to their get used to their phones and their laptop. Um the phones and the laptop should not just be for um for sending WhatsApp messages, for watching WhatsApp statues, for watching YouTube videos for entertainment. There are more to your phone than what you see in order to for you to practice effectively well. Because sometimes I've come in contact with some people who um, finding having access to um, their email is a problem sending message on their email is a problem receiving message from their email reading downloading documents from their email it's a problem the fact is in this developing and developed countries they have gone far 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 ahead of us that most of the things they do it's usually technology right from the day I entered um, with all my classes has been on 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 the phone or the laptop so I have not really received a, uh, we have I have received a, a physical class but they are few compared to the ones I have received online like they are very very much especially now that there's an outbreak of COVID-19 so if you don't have an idea on how to use your phone effectively well you might likely fumble around when it comes to that so it's better for you to use your phone effectively well and most of the messages they send to you they don't send you whatsapp messages you know back then at home your chief might send you a whatsapp message you don't get things like that they normally send their messages through email which is more professional so all messages you get are on your emails and you are to reply back on your emails because this serves as an evidence so when you reply on email, this is an, this is an evidence that such a conversation was had and it's an existence. So first thing is to get used to phone. How do they send emails on phone? How do I download documents on phone? How do I locate this document on my phone when I download it? What should be my subject when sending email? This should be your major priority for the scratch on how to use your phone effectively well. And also, how do I click on the link to join a particular class online? Sometimes these things are easy. All you have to do is to follow the steps one at a time. You just have to settle down. But the fact is, when you continuously do it, you get used to it. So you have to get used to your phone as soon as possible, as much as you can. Not just for WhatsApp messages and not just for WhatsApp status or for watching comedies online. Then also, when I resume the word, everything, most, almost everything are being documented on the system, the patient vital signs, the patient care, the drugs given, they are being documented and signed on the computer. So we, I hardly see them using the paperwork. Though we had some, like there are some scenarios, we have some paperwork, but it's rare. But most things are being documented on the system. So if you have a background knowledge of how the computer is, 
getting adult, getting a um, knowledge on how to use it to record the patient's details is going to be very very easy for you one thing is to just have this background knowledge of how to use a computer what the mouse is how to operate the mouse how to operate the keyboard how to type a little you get that will give you an insight that will make your work faster over here that's just my take on it i'm just sharing it to you that yeah that's going to be beneficial to you because almost everything i've seen here it's actually machine said most of the things we do here are majorly machines 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 let me put it checking your vital signs your blood pressure your temperature your pulse these are being done by machines so looking at it you have to learn how to use it you have to get used to technology you have to get used to computers you have to know what and what to do for example my roster is not on the paper wall back then what we have we already have our roasters on um, our online employee something like that we have it all we have to do is to just check online for our roosters you know when you are on duty when you are off duty when you can request for your leave when you can request for an extra sheet all these are done online even if you are doing it physically you are going to ask your head or something physically you have to send them a message online so just assume you don't have knowledge of all these things you don't have knowledge of computers you will always have to call for help in all those situations so when you have knowledge of computers it makes it easy for you to navigate through it makes it easy for you to navigate through and know what and what to do and you'll be needing minimal minimum assistance because i can't say you don't need any assistance because you are new to this thing so you'll be needing minimal assistance rather than maximal assistance to get used to these things so i think it's 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 very very important for you to have knowledge of the computers roasters are online requesting for leave is online requesting for an extra shift is online um um, record of patients the information is uh, on the system that's on assist there on the computers um, patients kids on the computer the cannula you put on the patients you record it on the computer neurological and uh, neurological assessment is on the computer vascular assessment is on the computer glass which is neurological assessment is on the computer so these are the things uh, it makes it makes nothing easy but you have to get used to it for example, we are having you're having a patient with a, um, maybe some neurological or cautious patient or something. You have to do some neurological assessment on the patient. All you have to do is to physically assess the patient, but then go to the computer and document this assessment. It's already there. That's the eye response, verbal response, your motor response. They are already on the computer. From your assessment, it's just for you to click the numbers and the computer sum it up for you. And you know if your patient is having 15, 14, 13. You can see they are making things easy. But if you don't even have a single background knowledge of the computer, it's going to be uh, very difficult for you to just blend easily because you will need maximal assistance. But if you have knowledge of the computer, you will be needing minimal assistance to get used to these things. That is why it is actually good for you to have um, knowledge of the computers. I decided to share because I know it's going to be of benefit to everybody that wants to really blend into the technology and know how it works and i hope this video give you an insight on the reason why you as a nurse should get used to the computer not just the paperwork because in the future the paperwork might be eradicated totally when it comes to care and we'll be having just the computer because with the uh, the covid whole incident now it is better when you are transparent paperwork covid can be transmitted in that medium so what you just have to do is just to tell the other nurse during transfer of patient to check the system rather than transparent paperwork um covid but um and you understand so with technology the um uh, the transfer of infection the transfer of the the, the bacteria will be limited compared to piling of paperwork. So that is why you should have a knowledge of the computer when coming. Me, I had a I had a background knowledge of the computer, so I required a, I still needed assistance because it's new. The computer is new, everything is new. They are going to put you through, that's just the fact. But so it doesn't look as if everything is strange to you. So just get used to your computer. They are definitely going to put you through on how to do it. That's one thing about them. They are very nice. They are ready to teach you. For me, that's what I've experienced. So, but I feel to avoid stressing yourself too much and stressing others, I think you should have a background knowledge of it. 
thank you very much for staying tuned thank you very much for watching my video hope this video helped you understand and gain better insights on why you should know how to use a computer as a nurse um for those that are nursing students that have not registered for our classes on telegram you have been missing a lot all you have to do is to send a message to the whatsapp number showing on your screen so you can have access to all our voice notes you get we have a lot of students there we have a lot of testimonies so far we have a lot that we have done prepared for you just send a message and you have access to it thank you very much and have a wonderful day ahead bye